Hello from my bed. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how is it going? I am just sitting in bed watching TikTok, getting the motivation to go to the gym. It's two o'clock and I don't know, it's one of those days that I don't wanna go, but I know I'll feel great when I get there and probably blast Fergie or Taylor Swift. Who knows what we're feeling, but we're gonna go. We're gonna get ready. It's gonna be great. Let's start this vlog off. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's get started. It's just been one of those days, you know, when you're like tired. It also rained. Whenever it rains, I'm kind of sleepy. It just goes to show everybody struggles sometimes to go to the gym. I'm not always motivated, but we're gonna turn around and we're gonna get to the gym even if I don't do that much today. So I am like bundled up. I'm literally in a zip up, sweats, and a puffer. So let's get changed now. We are changed. We're wearing the OG camel. Whoa. We're wearing the OG camo, not camel. And then we also have one of the adapt bras. They're truly one of my favorites to wear just because they hold everything in. All right, we made it to the parking garage. I put on a baggy zip up Gymshark men's hoodie. You know, when you're just like, I'm not feeling it, so I'm gonna dress comfortably. But then if I do feel it, I got my sports bra on um, to rock out in. Yeah, it's just weird. Some days you just have no energy and that's okay, but at least you're doing it, you're getting there, and we're gonna have a good sesh. Probably won't bring you with me just because I do want to focus. Um, plus, I didn't bring my tripod, but I will chat with you after. All right, fam, what a week. So I just got back from the gym and I don't know, I felt like we should talk about something that I'm learning <laughs> at the moment. Um, and some tips. And it's basically like how to incorporate the gym into your life when maybe you haven't had it in a while or even working out. Um, I feel like a lot of girls, especially me with, you know, being out of working out for a month, like I feel like I had to instill those habits again and I'm really struggling and I think that's normal. I don't think everyone just like goes to the gym every day and freaking loves it. You're gonna have days that you dread it. You're gonna have days that are really good. You're gonna have days that you're like, you know what, I'm here for consistency and I wanna be persistent and patient. So I guess this will be kind of some tips that I'm at least learning along the way because I really haven't taken that long of a break from working out in a really long time and it's been like a battle for me to be like, oh my goodness guys, I'm just sitting in my car and <laughs> this girl's like, do you know where the leasing office is? Our, our like garage is a true maze. I don't understand our garage. I've lived here for three years. I'm trying to explain it to her and I'm like, honestly, you're not gonna find it. So then I tell her to go out and I'm like, take a right and then take a right and then take another right. And that's how I'm describing it. But I'm also like, we got to just Google it. My head hurts. I was like, oh my gosh, ah, that's so confusing. Okay, anyways, that was awkward. I'm like parked in my place and she's like, ma'am, honk honk. So anyways, before we I wanted to just kind of go over what I was learning has been really helpful for me this week. So if you're struggling like this as well, don't worry, you will pick it up and it will become a routine, it will become a habit that you start to love, hopefully. Um, but first things first is consistency. And I feel like I, even today, I was so, so, so sore from Monday because my body's like, what the heck, Stanley, you've not worked out your muscles for a month. Um, I still made it consistent to at least go to the gym. I did a 45 minute session. I took it really lightly. I did the Stairmaster. I did some body weights, some free weights, and then a couple machines and then kind of called it good. So at least I'm instilling in my brain, hey, we must set aside like 45 minutes a day to get to this gym. Um, or, or you can go for a walk outside, go for a run, whatever you want to prioritize as your exercise so first things first is be consistent even if you don't want to do it that day do it carve out the time even if you're busy trust me just do it just to build that consistency um, along the road I feel like you can get a little more lenient especially if you're busy I totally get that but at least try like three days a week or something like that I think everyone has time for that I've been getting up at 
five and I go to the 8 a.m. so I have time to work out. So penciled in, you gotta be consistent even on the days you don't want to, even if you're like, I'm sore, at least like go and like move your body, go for a walk, but get to that gym or get to that road that you're running or whatever it may be, exercise. So in your brain, you're like, this is a habit forming. Okay, I go to the gym this many times or I work out this many times. Another tip would be if you don't really want to go to the gym or you're starting to make excuses, like I know I was doing that today, I put on my workout clothes. Like mid conversation, I was like, stop, I'm going to be like lazy when I was talking to Michael. So I went over, put on my workout outfit and was like, you know what? First things first, and I took some pre-workout because once you take pre-workout, you gotta go work out, otherwise you're gonna be all jittery, you know? So I feel like it might help you if you lay out your clothes ahead of time, um, like say it's an early morning for you, plan out your outfit, and that way you can just like pop it on when you wake up and go. Um, have that cup of coffee. I used to get up at 5 a.m. and do spin classes, and I would get up 30 minutes earlier, and I would literally drive to the spin class, park there for 30 minutes, and enjoy my cup of coffee by myself. Because I enjoyed it, and it like made me look forward to waking up and going and working out as a girl's not a 5 a.m. workout girl your girl is a coffee drinker at 5 a.m. kind of girl that lays on the couch so I feel like that might help you so kind of prep it ahead of time and give yourself something to look forward to whether it's a reward whether you're going in the morning and you're like I'm gonna give myself a coffee after this whatever it may be comment down below if you have some secret sauce that you reward yourself with please let us gals know all right a third one is are you enjoying what you're doing? If you are just slaving away at cardio and you hate cardio, switch up your routine. Um, make sure you have a workout split that you are having fun with. You don't just feel like it is a chore. I know that sometimes, especially building a habit, it can feel like that, but at the end of the day, this is a healthy lifestyle and I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy being at the gym. I want you to enjoy working out and exercising because it's good for your body. So maybe pick up that spin class. Maybe do online yoga because of COVID right now maybe buy yourself a pair of dumbbells and you make up your own circuits in the living room or maybe you FaceTime your mom while you do it and you do it together something that you're gonna look forward to an exercise that you're gonna love opposed to oh it's leg day and like I'm just doing the same thing because I have 100% been in that rut and I absolutely hate it hence why I'm doing these spin classes on Tuesday and Thursdays because I never do it someone's pushing me I'm having a grand old time she's playing Britney Spears the woman's amazing why wouldn't I go you know so I feel like that's a really good point is you gotta love what you're doing you don't want to dread it it shouldn't feel like work for you it should be enjoyable and there's a reason you're doing it and last but not least is make sure you're taking care of your body during this time because there's nothing harder than getting your booty to the gym when you feel like crap say you ate like a pound of french fries before you go you probably don't want to go or drink beer or something like that I don't even know I'm always conscious hey if I promised myself I was gonna make it to the gym at 12 probably Probably shouldn't have a mimosa on a Sunday or I don't know I mean treat yourself of course guys treat yourself you know make sure you're getting the proper amount of sleep proper amount of water what are you eating because some foods can make you feel sluggish I am someone that food will affect my entire mood and how I go about my day so if I start off with a donut I'm literally gonna feel like sick all day as much as I love donuts it's like self-sabotage okay I'm not gonna lie so just be aware of that I know those tips were kind of vague but they were on my mind this week because it was incredibly applicable to me and just I'm like trying to build this habit again and struggling with finding the time and prioritizing it and enjoying it you're not alone everyone feels this way from time to time wow good morning got up around 5.30 this morning and made ourselves a cup of coffee. We're gonna go see the sunrise at 6.20. It's gonna be a fun day. My Gymshark manager, Christy, don't mind my laundry being washed right now. Um, she's actually in LA, so she's driving down to Orange County and we're gonna film some fun things together, do some brunch, we're gonna go to dinner. It's just, it's gonna be fun. She's such a sweetheart and, and I love that Gymshark is so personable and they, and they can be your friend as well as your manager so it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be fun to get to know her more because i joined the team during covid so i didn't really get to travel or anything like that that you usually do as an athlete with your manager so it's nice that she can come down here we did meet one time in denver when i was visiting my friend maddie um for lunch so i feel like i already know her pretty well i feel like you work with them so much that you know them, but she's a sweet sweet gal Alright, 
we made it. The sunrise is beautiful. I can't go to my normal spot. I should just hop right there because it is so wet from it raining yesterday that I just don't want to slip. And I really don't want Bentley to get in mud or something like that. But have our good cup of coffee. Whoa. Have our good cup of coffee. Cheers if you have coffee right now or water. Take a drink. We know the rule. Put some oat milk, cinnamon, and honey in it. And I don't know, it's just something about the sunrise that I love seeing it. It rises over the mountain and it kind of reminds me of Seattle. And even though I don't feel like Seattle's my home anymore, it's like a nice familiar thing. Maybe that's why I love it so much. Like just looking over at the mountains and I don't know, I just think it's really gorgeous. And there's times that I do miss, you know, being back where everything is green and lush and you're surrounded by like gorgeous mountains like Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier and yeah. I just, whoa, I just had that epiphany, I guess, right now of like, maybe that's why I like it so much. Honestly, I love sunrises, I love sunsets. You always will catch me ditching TV for this. So today is going to be a busy day. I'm really excited to take you along with me. It's going to be a great day. Can't wait to get the day started. It is six o'clock. We're so lucky to be enjoying the sunrise. The sky is blue. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Very grateful. All right, I do not have time to go to gym today. So I'm gonna go for a run, it's gorgeous out. Bentley has yet to be walked, so might as well take Bentley on the run with me. Hopefully he can keep up. Let's be real, it's me. Me that can't keep up. But I'm wearing the training sports bra. I'm pretty sure it's called the training one. They're coming out with new colors. I didn't receive any of them, but these are one of my favorite, favorite sports bras. I have a white one and a black one, and they have a couple really pretty blue ones coming out love working on them it's like full coverage and just kind of like a nice staple you know you feel me and then we have energy seamless this is like a green camo green i think i got this might have been some of like my first pairs in gymshark and i still love to wear them they're so comfy easy staple they always come out with new colors but let's go for a run let's attempt to do three miles because i haven't ran in a hot 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 minute okay we're back from the run had a leftover burrito. I went to Ola, this really yummy Mexican place with Jordan last night and I had leftovers. Holla! And then we're going to brunch with Christy, but showered, probably will get changed. I'm just wearing some Cozy Co's White Fox Lounge. I'm actually going to do a haul right now and film it for YouTube, so that's coming soon. PSA, if you ever want your significant other to buy you coffee, say, I feel like we don't go on dates. Want to take me on a date to coffee? And he caved. And then she leaves me right away. Not even a date. Well, it, the coffee took long and Christy's about to be here, so I got a skedaddle. So he wanted to go for don't around the block. It looked like I have a Santa beard. Ho, ho, ho. All right, we got Christy. Say hello. Hello. We've got some squirt guns for a fun video. Stay tuned. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be huge. We are sitting on a marina waiting for our brunch to be ready. Well, actually to get called at brunch, we're going to Malibu Farms and it's gonna be phenomenal. Quick intermission for some ice cream, <laughs> pistachio, and some brownie. We're out to Dindin. We got Cat and good. Ken. We got Christy. We got, got Michael. Got a girls a night with Michael. <laughs> yes. All right, fam, that wraps up this vlog. It's now the next day. I know it was kind of chaotic, but I wanted to take you through the week with me. I guess it was kind of like a weekly vlog as well. But I hope you had as much fun as I did. Look out for the new YouTube video that has to do with Gymshark and some giveaways. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you next time.